ain't got that hot in here yet. I didn't okay. ask you a question. Judge Jamie with the Cooper Court this morning. Thought Tim Anderson would be here by now. I wonder if he shows up late for a sermon out there at Clements. I think uh -huh. he can do anything he wants yeah, to. Yeah, probably. Let me tell y'all, too, this is my first show back this year, starting our 13th year in Athens, Alabama. All right. 13 years. I ain't been run out of town. Lucky 13. <laughs> there you go. Here's the way this works, Joe. You said you don't want to have hadn't played before. You trying to win these things of buying a sausage. Look for two more years. years. They're good. You can take them back to Oregon, your hometown. We'll have a question concerning that in a moment. Might oh not be a good gosh. one, but we'll have one. Can this is a wrong that? answer. This is a right answer. I scanned all the newspapers, uh, AL.com, Daily Mail, everything on my iPad. Got it ready to go. Zach is a buzzer boy and eligible. No electronic devices are eligible to be used hey Brad, I'm during not a show. I'm, I know you are. All right, let's get it cranking. Here we go to start with. Obama came out yesterday. He is still president. Talking about this gun law thing. Sure. Alabama leads the nation in background checks. Last month in December, we set a record. How many background checks for handguns were issued in December? 32,000. How many? 32,000. Good answer, but wrong, know it all. 75,000. 100,000. 47,605. So I'll have to give it with two. You say anything? 50. Oh, you said 50? All right, number three, you got to speak up, man. All right. You thought a man of the cloth would give me a little bit more. You just can't wave. You right, I, get, I get louder as I go. What's wrong, what's wrong with doing a background check? I mean, Well, you got to do a background you check. Yeah. We led the nation with background yeah. checks. They're saying okay. we've got a lot of people out there buying I guns. I we were going to leave. A nationally known magazine. Just named what state because of their business, a national business magazine, named what state the state of the year? Alabama. Or Oregon. Northern Oregon. Number one got it right. He's ready to Alabama because of what major industries? Uh, Paul, uh, Solaris. Solaris. Insured by Country Financial. Mercedes. Maybe. Mercedes. <laughs> we got to talk to them first. Yeah. David, you got to stick with me, man. I'm just yeah. trying to make you. I'm trying to yeah. stay with If they're not, they should be. I'm exactly trying to make you look right. good in front of Joe. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, that's going to be hard to do. They got yeah. TV shows in Oregon? He sees what's I believe they do. They ain't got one like this. No. No. <laughs> no. Average life expectancy in the state of Alabama is 75.2 years. Frank, you have exceeded that deal. Yay. Yay. Frank, coming in at 107. You keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> was that you? It was Zach. What? <laughs> the oldest woman like... currently living is from Alabama. How old is she? 102. 110. 110. I got to go with Joe. 116. Hey, you remember right. 116. Lives in New York City. In there. New York City. <laughs> but here's the real question. Good grief. What city in Alabama has the lowest life expectancy at 72.9 years? I hope it's not Athens. Birmingham. Close to a nuclear plant. I went to college there. Sneed. Gadsden. Gadsden is the right answer. Wow. I went to multiple schools before I finally was able to get there. Gadsden is. Gadsden. Wow. Gadsden. Instead of Wild County. Wild. I mean, why are they the lowest? Why are they the lowest? What they don't you ever been there? You ever been to Gaston? I'm surprised they yeah, didn't you ever been there. Been there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm you surprised they live that long. I am their claim to fame. They just don't know. Well, wait a minute. Rick and Bubba started there, too. too. Y'all uh, heard yes. of them? Yes. No, I never heard of them. All right. They did a flyover at the Rose Bowl. Trump is disgusted. Who paid for it? Ted Cruz. Hillary. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the government. Probably the, the government, government or the Obama. college. A millionaire yeah. from Alabama. So what's wrong with that? Ben <laughs> Pate is his name. <laughs> he's, paying for that. he's paying for that flyover. What Trump is say? disgusting. Oh, he's, his Trump deal is to not let, he's a Cruz, not a Cruz, a Rubio supporter. Okay. So? Well, he can do what he wants. He can, oh. I mean, if he wants to start yeah. paying for some flowers, he yeah. can pay for some. Trump! Oh, yeah. oh, Blue Bell ice cream is returning to Alabama. When? I hope soon. 
because I like blue barrel ice cream. Yeah, I, I can see February. <laughs> I'm, I'm melting away, man. February 14th on Valentine's Day. Uh, June 1st. January 18th. Well, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That's what Lawler's Barbecue just opened the new. You ever heard of Lawler's Barbecue? I saw Jim Kelly at McDonald's talk to him the other day. Saw him at McDonald's. <laughs> saw him at McDonald's. I asked him, I said, when are you going to make bar uh, pork, bar uh, biscuits? <laughs> I sure did. I talked to Jim. Over was he eating lunch? It was, like, it, was, uh, it was that day of Alabama game. You can I saw only him, eat man. so much barbecue. Yeah. Well, one of their founding members goes to church down Lindsay Lane. Mm -hmm. yeah, shout out. They are, if, how many, they just opened one in Hampton Cove. How many locations does Lawler's Barbecue have? Seven. Ten. Five. Fifteen. Eleven. Twenty. Nine. Eight. Nine. nine. Y'all guessed it. I'll have to go. What number are you? Eight. You said eleven. You said nine, didn't you? I said nine. All right. <laughs> they're going, they're expanding to 50 locations eventually. Wow. Oh, wow. Who's got their insurance? Me. Do you have the right answer? That's <laughs> <laughs> the right answer. <laughs> Wayne Rogers, who played Trapper John. Yes, sir. Where's he from? Uh, he Mobile. Mobile uh, uh, I need something more specific yeah. than that. Hollywood. Montgomery. <laughs> Talladega. Birmingham. Dope. Birmingham is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> How many years was he on MASH? Oh, man. Oh, he was on five or six, and then they killed him off. Five years. Three. All right, we just talked about this. Lillian Glanton is going to be, Clanton is going to be on tonight on American Idol. Yeah. We got some pictures of her. She came up here cooking when she was like, what, 12? seven or eight, 12? 12. And then back last year, there she is in the 15. kitchen. At West Limestone, what, does, what is her job? What does she do for a living? Not a living, but what does she do to help they them? Sing. Farm. <laughs> no. Works on a farm. Oh, uh, Works on a farm, but what kind of farm? Raises cattle. Uh, Milks cattle. Horses. Little bitty. <laughs> Chickens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chickens. Yeah. Chickens. I knew it was some type of animal. What? I mean, She's a, a sportsman farm. out at West Limestone. What team is she on? Fishing team. Fishing, Fishing team is correct answer. Team. All right, here we go right here, though. <clears throat> Games and New Year's Eve don't mix. They were down. I prefer it because I can stay up for New Year's Eve. It says here, down 34% from last year. Huh. What game of the, all the bowl games had the absolute, by far, worst viewership at halftime? Birmingham Bowl. <laughs> Oregon TCU. <laughs> Oregon TCU. What happened in that game? I dozed <laughs> off and I woke up and it was 31 to 20. Well, there was like there was like, was like two halves. Oregon was really, did really good the first half. Did, did you hear, Jamie, though, what Bill Hancock, the executive director, Feinbaum blasted, said they need to move them off New Year's Eve. They, they said, he's adamant, said, we're going to leave them. People are going to have to change the yeah, way they're they getting their, they ain't judging their money on advertising. They already got their money. But, but every two, every three years, they, the Rose Bowl, them, they'll have to play on January 1st because the Rose Bowl uh, and Sugar Bowl have to be together. So they'll be played on January 1st. I like years. them on New Year's Eve. That's the only way I'm going to ensure me of staying up that late. <laughs> only you would know the answer to this. Uh, uh, USA Today this morning. What well, Joe would, because no he's, he's the hot top dog in here for the country <laughs> financial. What car has the most depreciation when you buy it? A Kia. I hope it's not a Kia. Sit down here, no. It's number one. I'm looking for the number. Dodge Charger is number two. Really? 